Yeah, let's talk. Hey, it's Kimmy the Gadget Goddess. And yes, we're, we're gonna have a conversation here. I said I was not getting the Samsung Z Fold 3 5G. But here's what happened. I sold the Huawei Mate X2. I almost got everything that I put into it back out of it when I sold it. And I also listed my Xiaomi Mi Mix Fold at the shooting of this video, September 11th, 2021. By the time you see this video, we could very well be sold. The prices for the Z Fold took a steep drop, brand new, on Swappa. And Samsung decided to do sales on their foldables. So I figured, why not? I'm into the foldables. I've been doing the Team Pixel thing. And I kind of have an idea of what I want to do post pixel time because I'm having fun playing with the pixels but I am missing the foldable market that being yeah. said I have the Samsung Z flip 3 5g yeah. and I figured why not go all out all foldable no iPhone no slab phone just all foldables all the way in I am currently out of town I did not think that this phone would arrive before I left to go out of town so that's the reason why i only have lowly case for it this was amazon prime it got to me in a day if you've seen one unboxing you know it's in the box they gave you a sim injection tool and a charging cord i did cop the silver i am doing an unboxing and installation of the z fold 3 ultra hybrid now <laughs> you know me, cases and Z folds and speaking in the same sentence really don't work. Flashback to about a year ago when I had this speaking hybrid case for the Z Fold 2. So I'm really curious to see if this one's gonna work for me. Hopefully, speaking has improved on its design since last year. Let's get started with the unboxing of the case. Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G Ultra Hybrid Case. That's about all you're getting on the front, on the back, very minimal. And it tells you the dimensions and it tells you it's a slim design for perfect grip. They always have these nice little pulls. I've always appreciated that about speaking. So you just pull that and it opens the case. It's taped closed, that's nice. Adhesive strips, which y'all know I can't stand. I'm gonna Toss these to the side because I'm not an adhesive strip person. I like that they give you a lens screen cleaning wipe and they show you how to put the adhesive strips on your phone. Again, I won't be using the adhesive strips. This is nice. Uh, TPU feels like, but it's a little harder than TPU. So that's probably where the hybrid comes into play. Yeah, flexibility here too. I like the material. Just booger a nice little wipe down other than all the playing around I've been doing with it. Really can't stand this glossy finish on the screen protector, but you know, you can see me. Hey, how y'all doing? This truly is a beautiful device. I'm not even a silver person, but with this phone, I just felt like it was more attractive. Pushing everything, you hear the clicks. Everything's clicked into place. Nothing here, just a hinge. There's no hinge protection with this case. There is a slight lip when it comes to the cameras. Three cameras around the back. Your fingerprint scanner and your volume rockers are completely open. So no need to even test those out. A slight lip around the front, but nicely recessed here. I will be able to access my gestures, which was a problem with most of the cases that I had in the past. I have full access to speakers and microphones at the top. I flip it around to the bottom. I have access to speakers, mic, and charging port. What impresses me most is the fact that I have access to the gestures without issue. They put a little more thought into these cases, at least speaking did maybe. Let's, let's 
throwing my screen protector up a little bit. I'm removing this so it's not a big deal to me. But yeah, keep an eye on your screen protectors when you install any cases on any of the foldables. I had an issue with my flip coming up with the Samsung case. I haven't completely set this up. You see the default wallpaper here, but if I open up, so I've already set the inside up, but I have not set up the outside. That's how little I play with this device. I have put my SIM in it just recently. Let's test out our speakers. Maybe they've redeemed themselves completely. It's Kimmy the Gadget Goddess. And today I have an unboxing of another case for the Pixel 5a 5G. I've been enjoying- If you hear any distortion, it is completely due to the table being here. And so when I flip it this way, one speaker's pointed towards the table regardless. Sounds wonderful. Color me impressed. Speaking, you fully redeemed yourself. This is awesome. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got a second, you might want to hit the like button if you've enjoyed multiple videos on this channel. If you've enjoyed me removing screen protectors and screen protectors, whatever you've enjoyed me doing, consider subscribing. Subscriptions are free, memberships are paid for. If you are considering a membership here, Click on the join button and see what my memberships have to offer before you commit. Clicking on the join button does not make you a member automatically. I'll catch y'all on the next video.